Have you ever had a part that had a lot of small detail and was really hard to dimension? Well, we're going to use the detail view today to figure out how to show close-ups of a part. So first off, let's pick a part. So we're going to choose a base view. Uh, let's get a pretty detailed part. There's a, there's a pretty detailed Lego part. We're going to open that. Let's scale it up a little bit so we can see what's going on. Call it 4 to 1. Um, actually, let's make it 3 to 1. And say OK. We'll place that part right there. Zoom in a little bit. But notice that even zoomed in, if I zoom out, and I go to dimension, say this area right here, it could get all caught up. And there's a lot of little dimensions in there. And I, I need to put them all in here, and it's going to get all messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that dimension. And I'm going to do a special view called a detail. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to choose detail. It asks me down here in the corner to select a view. So I'm going to select this view. And now what it's asking me to is to select the center point of the fence. And the fence is the area of, put a fence around the area that you want a detail of. So I'm going to click right in the center of this area because this is the area I want the detail of. I'm going to click and I'm going to circle the area that I want the detail of. Zoom back out and I can place this wherever I want. Now that's the detail. I can now go ahead and annotate and dimension my drawing and I can put dimensions in there and all of a sudden it's a lot clearer if I zoom out to this whole page you'll see that that that'll be a lot clearer in the long run than trying to dimension way inside here I can also change the scale of this by double clicking on the view and say it's still too small I can scale it up to uh, something greater and say okay and it'll, it'll come in a lot clearer as well